Now let's talk about key elements of successful chain layering. Balance is the key to life. It's not just about throwing on any old chain, but like 2 chains said, 2 chains and I got me a few on. Hola mi gente, I'm Marto with Marto K. Welcome to my world of jewelry. Layering chains is all about adding depth and texture to your look creating a sense of luxury and sophistication. It's not just about throwing on any old chain. You have to be strategic in your selection, choosing pieces that complement each other and enhance your style. Now let's talk about key elements of successful chain layering. You want to mix and match different chain styles to create contrast and visual interest. First up, I'm gonna start off by showing you an 18 karat yellow gold rounded box chain. It's four millimeters in width, 24 inches in length, I've paired it up with a 14 karat yellow gold rope chain. It's two and a half millimeters in width and 20 inches in length. So by mixing different chain styles, what I have done right here, I've created contrast with two different contents of gold from 14 and 18 karat. And I've also created visual interest. How? By obviously wearing a shorter and a longer chain. And bear in mind, you always want to wear the longer chain as your base and the shorter one on top. Now another key element to consider is mixing it up with the different colored metals. Here I'm wearing, again, the four millimeter rounded box chain in a 24 inch length in 18 karat yellow gold. Pairing it up here with a 14 karat white gold rounded box chain. It's two and a half millimeters in width and 22 inches in length. As you can see with the different contrast now with the white gold and the yellow gold, I've approached this with a beautiful two-tone look that can ultimately enhance your style. It's very interesting and I think it's a very handsome look as well. All right, now another key element to consider is experimenting with different chain patterns. Consider if you're wearing two chains like I am right now. One chain that has more texture compared to the other. One chain that has a lot more design compared to the other. Now, I'm wearing two 14 karat yellow gold chains. As you can see, on top, it's the Miami Cuban link chain. It's seven millimeters wide, 20 inches in length. Now the Miami Cuban link chain, it's a classic look. It's a classic link look, that flat link look with great depth. It's simpler in design. And now I've paired it up with the chain that has a lot more going on with it, the rope chain. The rope chain has more texture to it. As you can see, there's a little more substance in design. It's seven millimeters wide. Now this is 30 inches in length. Now obviously you see the significant length difference but they do work hand in hand with each other. They don't overlap one another. So you always wanna consider the longer chain on the base and the shorter one on top. Next, I wanna talk about balance. Balance is the key to life. Avoid going overboard by wearing too many chains. Stick to a maximum of chains for a nice polished and sophisticated look. Now, how many would I consider balance? I would say anywhere from two to three chains max. But like two chains said, two chains and I got me a few on. Now I think four, five or more chains is excessive. I don't think it looks right. I don't think it looks good. I don't think it has good balance at all. Now here I am wearing two 14 karat white gold chains. On top, I have a two and a half millimeter wide Miami Cuban link chain at a 22 inch length. And on the bottom, I have a 24 inch Miami Figaro chain that is three and a half millimeters in width. Now I feel like these two chains complement one another very, very well, and they have great balance. And I also wanted to show you guys another example of two layered chains, but all in white gold. Also, I wanna talk about your outfit. Now your outfit is definitely gonna determine the kind of chain the length of chain, the width of chain, the color of chain that you ultimately want to wear. Now, you can always refer to my previous chain videos and how to help guide you in selecting the right chain for yourself. But I truly think that your outfit has a lot to do with it. You definitely want to accessorize the right way for a nice, sophisticated and handsome look. Now, I also want to stress quality. Quality is above everything else. We can talk about design, we can talk about length, width, weight, but ultimately it's the quality 
and how that piece is made, right? So we ultimately want chains that are made with solid links. Avoid hollow chains because as I mentioned in my first chain video, I recommend that if it's within your budget to not buy a chain that is hollow because repairing those types of chains are a complete nightmare. Quality is definitely gonna be super important. You want longevity, you want it to stand the test of time, and you ultimately want to eventually just maybe even pass this chain down to your son, maybe your daughter, any family member. So consider that quality is definitely going to be one of the most important factors, one of the key elements in choosing your next chain and layering your next chain. Again, thank you guys for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We talked about key elements on successful chain layering. You can always refer to all my previous chain videos, especially my first chain video where I discussed my five O's. Now, subscribe to my page, drop a comment below, let's start a conversation. And if you guys want any one-on-one -on -one consultations, please DM me, hit me up. You can always reach me through all my different social media platforms. And ultimately, you know your boy Marto will definitely take care of you and he will definitely find you the right chain. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Adios mi gente.